Israeli archaeologist Ehud Netzer announced on Wednesday that he had unearthed two 2,000-year-old sarcophagi containing the remains of the wife and daughter-in-law of biblical King Herod. Herod, who ruled Judea from 37 B.C. until 4 B.C., holds a special place in history as the builder of the Jewish Second Temple. At a recent press conference, the archaeologist revealed his findings discovered in an excavation near Jerusalem. First of all, we found a theater we never knew about, in a way even never expected, because theaters are generally in big cities. And uh, the highlight of the theater is a loggia, a, a box of sorts, at the top of it, so where Herod and his friends could watch uh, the shows. <laughs> The professor of archaeology said that his recent discoveries proved beyond the shadow of a doubt that one of the three sarcophagi he found on the site in recent years belonged to King Herod. In the building, the mausoleum, there should be no doubt whatsoever. I said before I would eat my head if at the site there will be another tomb uh, found. Now that we have three sarcophagi, who exactly belong to Herod or not, might stay a... a a question for eternity. The findings were discovered at Herodium, the site of one of King Herod's palaces just outside of Jerusalem. While the site is technically located in the West Bank, the discovery once again proves the indisputable historical Jewish connection to the entire land of Israel.